right, y'all. I'm gonna try and make a video and try to talk loud. Well, hopefully you can hear me over the truck. <clears throat> we just got the skitter back together and now the truck is broke down up the road here somewhere. So I gotta go find him and see what's going on. But uh, I just wanna make a quick little video uh, here in Virginia again. Uh, the governor has done some more, I don't know what you call it, but uh, about the mask, about the mandate and all that. Now they're saying that businesses have to wear them or they'll take their license and you have to wear it or they'll give you a misdemeanor and a fine and all that kind of stuff. You know, some of the tyrannical stuff like he's known for these days. And everybody's up in air about that and they'll be wearing their mask and things like that. Which I don't care if you want to wear one, wear one, but you shouldn't be made to wear one. But I believe a lot of these same people a few months ago when he was talking about the gun control and all that, when they went to the rally in Richmond and all that, and they were about ready to march in there and throw him out of office. But uh, now he's talking about the mask and everybody's scared to death of the corona and uh, they're talking about fining you and things like that. People will wear them. They'll still fuss and complain, but that'll be all it amounts to. They won't do anything about it. Just sit back and gripe and complain like always. And Well, I got to, or I'll get in trouble, and I don't want to get in trouble, and all this kind of stuff. The same way everything's been going for years now. That's why we're in the place that we're in. And that's why the government has so much control and everybody bows down to them. America's not free like it used to be back in like 1776 when uh, they fought back the British and got our independence. The people of today are not the same as they were. I mean, really, do you know anybody today that would be able to fight back somebody like the British or would even try to? Or would they just cower and hide? Well, ain't nothing I can do about it, I, you know. I don't want to get in trouble and all that kind of stuff. But that's one thing. But I believe that it's a lot bigger problems and a lot more to the story than they're saying. I believe the mask mandate is just government using control and seeing how much control they have. I honestly believe that they're getting you ready. The government is prepping just like we ought to be, but they're prepping a different way. They're prepping to get you to do their will. They won't. As soon as Trump is out, whether he gets it this four years or not, you're getting a communist president. I don't really know. I don't see any evidence that says otherwise. Everyone that's running under the Democrat Party and half of the Republican Party are in the same boat. They're, you know, rich. They enjoy that lifestyle. They enjoy the power. They're in with the elites and all that that actually run things. <clears throat> Whatever they pay the puppets to do, or what they going to do? I mean, that's just plain and simple. You get the ones come in to a public office job like that paying, you know, so much amount of salary and by the time they go through for a few years they're worth like four times that much where is that money coming from i mean i'm not the smartest person in the world but it doesn't take a genius to figure it out but anyway you got all that going on and i also believe i don't know whether it be today be tomorrow or another thousand years but with the coin shortage they're talking about, uh, I believe that they want to do that and then they want to take away the dollar and go to a cashless society like they've been programming people for years. Just like, you know, credit cards and debit cards. Yeah, I got them too. Everybody does. And that's the problem. It's gonna be easy to accept. Just like now, the credit card in your pocket has a chip in it. How long are they going to say that, you know, before you just need the chip implanted in you? I mean, it would be so much easier and more convenient. You always have it with you. 
can't nobody steal your identity if it's you know in your hand or whatever that's how they're gonna sell it they're gonna preach it and it's they're gonna be the greatest thing in the world and it's gonna advance civilization and it's gonna do away with this and that and probably say do away with a lot of crime and robbery because unless they cut your hand off they can't get your money and just like with the mask thing I believe it's going to be the mask crap that we have now then it's going to be a mandatory vaccine to keep everybody safe and do this and that and then it's going to be something else and something else and something else it always keeps on and on and on and on and on I mean I honestly didn't think that the year was going to go this way you know like I said, I've been prepping for a little while, you know, kind of figure things ain't what they ought to be and, you know, stuff might happen, but I honestly didn't know it was going to be within the next five months that the whole world was going to fall apart. So that was bad on my end, but I'm trying to do what I can do to get my stuff squared away, and I hope you're doing the same. Now, we're going to rewind it back to what I was talking about more or less in the beginning but the cashless society and doing away with all that and putting a chip in you. People have been talking about this for years and the reason that is is because that people have been knowing about it for thousands of years. It's in Revelation. Whether you believe it or not, I mean, it's in there. It is what it is. And whether you believe or not is coming in your lifetime. You know, that's up to you. It is what it is, but like I said, I believe every day is a day closer. They already have the technology for the uh, chips and the, all that kind of stuff. You know they're not going to let it go to waste. They're going to use it. They're going to figure out a reason to use it and they're going to do it. But I know a lot of people, uh, I live in more or less a small town and you know, majority of people go to church or went to church when they were young or something, you know. They've heard it. Whether they know all the details or not, they got the concept. They've got the principle. And, you know, everybody says something about it. I ain't taking no chips. I ain't doing that and I ain't doing that. Really? Are you really? Because right now, with the mask mandate, or you'll get in trouble people are already bowing down and wearing that so they don't get in trouble whether it's constitutional or not they don't care they just don't want to get in trouble they want everything to be easy and comfortable and it's going to be the same way with that because when they introduce that it's going to be you know it says nobody can buy or sell or trade without the mark I mean you won't even be able to pay your taxes without it Cash is going to be more or less just burned. It's going to be, it ain't going to be worth the paper that it's printed on. It's going to be nothing. It's going to be, you know, just nothing. But everybody says that they're not going to do it, but I believe the majority are because of the reasons I just said. Like I said, they're already bowing down to this. Oh, I don't like it, but this and that. I got to do it so I don't get in trouble. Are you going to be able to stand up against that with the, you know, force of the government coming down on you for that? Not only that, you're going to have friends and family that will gladly take it, and then they're going to be peer pressuring you into taking it. 